She's just there we go. So thank you, Tamara, for reading me today for a quick how you icon story. So congratulations for iconing, which means you are going to earn your cap back. Thank you. Is this your this is your first year with us, right? Yeah. And your icon. Well, that's amazing. And I got a little bit of a note uh, from Mariana, just kind of telling me about you. And you were kind of very nonchalant. She's like, well, I just show my life and that's how I iconed. <laughs> <laughs> So let's get so let's get to that. So tell me a little bit about you and like how long you've been in the industry, and then we'll go into this past year and how you got yeah. right. So I've been in uh, real estate for three years. Um, before that, I was just in the corporate world. I had a really good job, but I hated working. You know those hours. And like we've talked about, my kids are all over the place with sports, and my husband works long hours, so I just hated it and on a whim, got my real estate license, and here we are. Awesome. So, so who were you with? Now you're with EXP. This is your first year with us, right? Yeah. So, so who were you with before? My first, so this is my third and final brokerage. Um, I did not know anything going into this, anything about commission splits. I, like, I knew nothing. So I started off on a 50-50 split at a local brokerage um, called Huff Realty, and I was rookie of the year my first year. So I was like, wow, I'm making great money. And then I looked at, and I'm like, they took 50% of what I made. I could have made double this. Somebody from Keller Williams was like, hey, this is how we do it, you know? So I started kind of learning more. I went to Keller Williams. I liked Keller Williams, no complaints, but I was not the type of person who was going to go into the office every day. I really like to be home with my family. I'm always running around my kid, running my kids around. Um, and they really, really wanted that, which is awesome for some agents. It just wasn't my thing. Um, so then I learned about EXP. Honestly, I, I saw you um, and some other agents, you know, just on Instagram. And I started researching it myself. And I was like, you know what? This is this is more for me. Um, I did a lot of Instagram, social media. Right? <laughs> yeah. I did a lot of stuff for, with social media uh, my first year of real estate. And I got a lot of crap for it. Like, Oh yeah. Their agents were like making fun of me. Um, my brokerage at the time was the first brokerage was very old school and they did not like it at all. Um, I didn't stop though. Cause, because I was like, Hey, I just quit my job. This is free marketing. I can't afford to do anything else. So it's working and I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. Same with me. I, I, I never forget. I heard, um, I went to like an event, right? And I heard overheard these agents was like, oh, there's go go. She's gonna take other selfie again. And I was like, yeah, because these yep. selfies gonna freaking pay the bills one day. I just knew right. it. Right. right. I knew it from day one. But God, <laughs> yeah, same, same with me. If I had a dollar every time somebody was laughing at me, right? I would be a millionaire all over again. Um, so that's awesome. So thank you for joining EXP. We just gained, yeah. an, we gained an amazing agent. Um, when is your anniversary date? Um, I think it's March 1st. March. Okay. So you literally just had your first year with us. Yeah. So just so everybody that's watching the video, you understand, we get to earn our cap back, which is right around 2.7 million in production we cap. And if you can do 20 deals in your own anniversary year, so in Tamara's case, it's March 1st to March 1st. If she can do 20 deals after capping, she becomes an icon agent. So that's what we are talking about today because she earned her cap back. So Tamara, how many transactions did it take you to icon? Oh gosh, go go! This is horrible, but I, I don't even <laughs> What's your average price range. What's your average price range? Um, I'd say thirty-eight ish. Uh, thirty-eight deals. Okay. Yeah. So your average price range is in the lower end. Yeah, I'd say it's like two, three hundred ish. Okay. I don't know. I might be completely wrong on my numbers. That's. <laughs> So let's do the math, right? So if we take, I'll meet you in the middle at 250. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So 2.7 million is where we cap. 250,000 is what you sell in average. So that's 10 deals uh, plus 20. So it took you about 30 deals to ICON. Yeah. If the average price range was 250. So that's awesome. So how does one go about doing 30 deals? So if we take 12 months, right? So we take the 30 deals divided by 12 months, you do about two and a half deals a month. How do those deals find themselves to you? I don't know. I think it, I probably, I think I did like 38 deals. So maybe my average is a little less, but I, I mean, most of my deals are social media. Um, 
now that I'm, you know, three years in, I do get referrals. So, so that's the other thing. So with referrals, um, were these referrals from agents or referrals from past clients? Let me ask past you this. Did you have deals that your commission wasn't at hundred percent? It was like 75% because you paid out 25% to another agent. Yes. So I did refer deals out to like out of state, Texas, Florida, a couple other states to other EXP agents. So okay. that was fun. Um, and so I did get why, that's why it took you more deals because yeah. it has to be 20 full deals. So if yeah. you do any like a, a referral that you receive or a referral that you give out, those are not full yeah. deals. So now the receiving end, right, you're only keeping 75% of the commission because 25% going to the other agent. And right. on the sending end of deals, uh, you're only keeping 25%, the other agents keeping 75%. So those deals are not full deals. So now a 75% from here and a 25% from here, now that's a full deal. Yep. Makes sense. So sometimes it takes more deals if you have referred transactions. Yep. But either way, you're getting your cap back. So 38 sure. deals, yeah, that's awesome. So mostly referrals from past clients, you would say, or friends and family, or? Yeah, a little mix of both. I'd say 70% of my business literally comes from social media. I mean, I posted some goofy video of me, like with a, a filter of myself as a hot dog, and I made some like funny little pun. And I got three listings off of that video. Like people just messaged me and they're like, oh, by the way, when we list our house, we're going to use you. And I'm like, okay, well. Oh, that's awesome. So that's where you found, that's where you found your niche. So which one is your favorite uh, social media platform? Is it Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all three? Um, I, I like Facebook. That's where I get the most interaction with like clients. Um, Instagram is easy to use and fun. Um, I just started in TikTok. So Facebook probably gets me the most as far as clients go. Yeah. And you have a very busy life, right? So just before we started recording here, everybody, Tamara is a mom of two kids. They're 14 and 11 and they are in sports and she has a very busy husband and a very busy household and she prefers to have family time over business time, right? So yeah. in a, in a, what be true like a day for you, Tamara? Like how much do you actually work versus, you know, the family life of how much time that takes? So I don't, I definitely don't work as much as you, Gogo. <laughs> I, I won't work as much as me either. It's, it's changing, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so all over the place, but my phone is always on. That's the one biggest complaint that like my family has. And, but I tell them, hey, I'm home with you. I'm dropping you off at school. I'm picking you up from school. I'm volunteering at school. I'm doing, I'm at all of your games, all of your practices. I'm able to go to basically everything. Occasionally I miss something, but I am on my phone a lot, whether it's like doing social media stuff or answering client calls or calling other realtors on, on deals, or I'm lugging my kids to showings in between practices because I do that almost on a daily basis. Like it is just a juggle and you kind of just get used to it. I mean, you just make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. And then what is your social media posting schedule? Like do you make sure that you post daily. Is it, you don't really have a schedule kind of just winging it. Like what, yeah. what is it like? It's like nothing. <laughs> it's like everything else in my life. I, it just gets done. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So do you do mostly posts or stories or, or where do you spend the time? Uh, I do a lot of stories. So I try to have stories every single day, <clears throat> all day, like just throughout the day, just checking in. Hey, this is what I'm doing, telling something funny that's happened. I, I like to be goofy and make people laugh. So if that's something, awesome. you know, can be funny, I try to make it. That's awesome. So that's where people relate, right? So you allow them to get to know you. And when they get to know you, they're like, oh my God, this Tamara chick is cool. And then yeah. you earn trust over time and they decide to work with you sometime down on the road. Yeah. That's, that's how I built my business too. The downside to this type of business is that you don't know when and if and where your leads are going to come from. Right. Next, right? right. So there's no guarantee, but by putting in the consistent work, that's kind of the guarantee. Right. So yep. I know that in average, I get this much business if I continue in average doing what I did to get that much business. So it's kind yep. of just like math. But I love the fact that you have your freedom. Right. Yeah. And you got to reach. I don't know if you knew this, but iconing at EXP, it puts you into the top six percent of the agents in the company. Ninety four percent awesome. of the agents do not yeah. like that. So you're in the top 6% by production. So that's amazing. Yeah. And, you, and you just winked it as a, as a stay at home mom. <laughs> yeah. 
not home because you don't stay home because you're on the yeah. road. Right? But, um, but you kind of weaved it into your life where you don't feel like you're working and you get to spend that time with the family and yeah. you get to keep all of your money in the end of the in the end of the year. So that's amazing. So how many do you know your uh, volume? I was just thinking of doing the math in my head. So 38 deals times, let's say 250, um, nine and a half million. So 10 million. Yeah, that's amazing. You did not, where are you located by the way? Uh, Northern Kentucky. That's awesome. Like right outside of, right below Cincinnati. That's amazing. That's amazing. So if you could give three tips to someone that is watching this, that you're like, oh, you definitely need to do this because this is what, you know, pays my bills. Or is there anything that they need to pick up, right? So what would that be that someone can implement and learn from you today that they could take that and implement it into their business? And I can too. I would just say, don't be afraid to go against the grain and, you know, put yourself out there, be yourself. And, you know, people will come to you if you are genuine. Um, Obviously, you have to be willing to work and willing to, you know, I'm, I'm willing to play private eye. And if I, you know, see a house that I'm curious about, or yesterday, you know, I was talking to neighbors when I was showing a house and the lady was like, oh, I might want to sell my house. And I'm like, really? Can I? <laughs> so like, you definitely have to be aggressive and, you know, do things, think of things that maybe some other people wouldn't think of and um also I don't know just just be willing to go the extra mile you know if somebody says it can't be done you need to make four or five more phone calls because I guarantee it can be done you just have yep. to figure a way to make it happen yeah if there is no way create one yeah and it's it, with my per I love it thank you <laughs> my personality too it's like they're doing me a favor when they say I can't do something I'm like yeah. oh you watch me I do it <laughs> Right, right. Why right. not take photos and post it? <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. Right. It's just like it's like fire. I, I don't like people telling me no, right? Yeah. I'm just I use that as fire. So Tamara, what's the best way for someone to um get a hold of you? Um, you can reach out to me on any of my social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or just text me. I mean it's email. Your, is your Instagram account Tamara Minch or how would they find you? Uh it's Tamara Minch Realtor. I think. Okay. Yep. And oh, then just for mention awesome. Facebook. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank Thanks you. For being so awesome and nonchalantly just doing 10 million out of your mobile office. Yeah. In my Log switch. <laughs> Logging your kids around. Well, thank you so much for your time.